John Haynes and naturalist Carrie Benham. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning guys. I thought I would see some chocolate this morning, but uh, I wiped it off my face before I got here. Chocolate sensation, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get together and eat some sensational chocolate. It's one of the and best it, events of the year. It is the most delicious event <laughs> of the year, and everybody loves chocolate, right? Yes. You've got a uh, couple of changes to the event this year. New location. New location. Yeah, we're in Weatherwax Hall this year. Uh, nice. Uh, it's good to bring folks to downtown. Jackson, get them down here. Um, yeah, that's going to be March 10th uh, next week. So yeah. uh, one week to, to get your tickets. And we've got some really, some really good uh, entertainment okay. and events for us. Um, you, you might know Brandon Marcel. Yes. Uh, sometimes he's walking around Jackson with his flute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's going to be uh, providing the music. Stoyan is going to be providing uh, catering. And all of this brought uh, to us possible by our sponsors, Mackey, Richmond Brothers, Lammers Heating and Cooling, and of course, JTV. JTV. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And this, uh, this is a fundraiser. It is a fundraiser, absolutely. Um, you know, we're obviously a nonprofit, so mm -hmm. anything we can do to, to get some, some funds to further our mission is what we're all about. We're talking with uh, folks from American One. They're Event schedule is back up and uh, and full blown and same at Dalham. You you've got a busy busy calendar for 2023. Yes, we do. Um, chocolate sensation next week and then uh, a couple weeks later we have Maple Madness. So folks can come out and learn about maple sugaring. We tapped our trees and the temperatures have been ideal and we've already collected over 100 gallons of sap. Oh wow! Early so, season this year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Um, and the ants are loving the sap too. And, and then in, uh, coming up after that, we have a woodcock night walk. So they're funny little birds that mm -hmm. do their breeding, dancing, and, hmm. and things at night. So I'll do a short presentation inside. Then we'll go out into the field and, and see what we can find. And, awesome. And then we have Night of the Amphibians. Everybody likes that one, frogs and toads, catch and release. What about um, opportunities for kids? Uh, we've got some kids camps oh, coming up. Oh, for sure. Yes. Well, and, you know, yeah. we, we do have the registration for next year's Little Acorns oh, Natural Preschool. The preschool, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about closed. I mean, okay. we have a couple openings left, but uh, if you have four-year-olds mm -hmm. uh, looking for a, a nature-based preschool, it's the place to be. Yeah, this is very cool. And then, of course, Carrie's got um, the summer camp, the summer day camp lined up. Mm -hmm. we Outdoor did that. adventure day camp. Yeah, we did that with uh, our daughter. I mean, she just had just a wonderful time. It's yeah. so cool. It's yeah. really popular. Yeah. It is. So we've already, out of nine sessions, three of them are closed, and one of them is close to being closed because they're filled up. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's so popular, and we take up to 300 children ages 3 to 12. Um, and every session is a different theme. So they can sign up for more than one session and do different things and learn different things. Yeah, and you get the benefit of the passion of Carrie Benham, <laughs> who knows <laughs> Dalham like the back of her hand. How did the, uh, how did Dalham hold up during the uh, ice capades we had last week? Well, you know, we lost some trees and um, still doing some cleanup like yeah. the rest of the community and yeah. nothing we too lost power and yeah. but the buildings are fine good. parking yeah. lots good people can come out and walk the trails and be safe nice golfers yeah. are going to notice uh, when they go out for the first time uh, golf courses are going to look a little different a lot of golf courses yeah Lots yeah yeah. yeah a lot yeah. of trees down a lot yeah. of trees down for sure yes. when's a good time for uh, just the general public to come out what what do you what's your favorite time to i'll ask each of you to uh, favorite season or favorite time time of day to kind of come out and walk the trails. I would say, well, I, I, my favorite time is like in spring. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what's what's interesting now? Last week we just started our beginning beekeeping class, so we've got the class uh, getting kind of the background, getting ready to get their bees, and it's really fun in the spring. Mm -hmm. We bring those bees to an apiary beside the ecology farm garden plots. So the gardeners are out there preparing their garden beds. Mm -hmm. the people are out there putting bees into their beehives. And it's just a real fun time in that section of uh, the uh, Dalham on mm -hmm. Wickwire Road. Use the Wickwire mm -hmm. Road 
entrance and uh, yeah. there's a butterfly trail through there and good access to the trails through that side. So to me, I know spring is, I love spring because it's just you know, a lot of pent up you know, energy over the winter. Yeah. Um, so it's good to get out. Bart's yeah. uh, bee, is it bee kept? You've bee kept before. I bee beekeeping, don't try this at home. <laughs> he's bee kept. <laughs> Officially, I, I, he's, I, he's. I did, I put bees in the thing. And, in the thing. Uh, smoked them. No, he had the whole <laughs> uniform on. He went to a to beekeeper uh, friend and he bee kept. Right, I did. <laughs> And I didn't get stung, and yeah. That's You'd be good. Fun. That's no fun. He's good at it. Yeah, he yeah. was really good at it, so. Yeah. Wow. But I'm not. Uh, Are you retired from that? that? It was yeah, a one, it's, one time. It was thing. a one time. <laughs> John, we've loved uh, having you as the interim director, but um, enough's enough. <laughs> Doggone it, you're right. <laughs> but you guys are. You guys are. Uh, you guys are hiring for an executive director. Yeah, we're closing in on uh, our target to get an executive director in place by the first of April. Great. So we're down to two rounds now. We have um, had a, a really good uh, bunch of applicants, mm -hmm. and we narrowed that down to a handful, and now we're going to narrow that down to some finalists in a couple weeks. Great. So yeah, we're making good progress. Really happy. And excited about the applicants that we have. I think we're going to be in good hands uh, with e the applicants that we have right now. And looking forward to the transition. It's been fun. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah. But I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> He's great it? at helping me uh, collect sap. <laughs> oh, this has been great fun. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, I've never done this before. Yeah. I want to help. I'm like, there okay. I went through Carrie's uh, <laughs> training. She's got volunteers to do the education for groups yeah. that come out. And so I went through the yeah. training with my wife. and. It was fascinating. Carrie's just like a ball of energy. She tells great stories. Knows everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Yeah. And then I get to help her collect sap. I mean, mm -hmm. nothing yeah. better. That's cool. Greatly appreciated. Yeah. Well, and you can call on me if you need any maple expertise. Okay. Like eat, eating, eating maple syrup. Both. Everything, anything, Identifying. Anything and everything about maple syrup. Mm -hmm. well, we'll see you at the uh, chocolate sensation. Coming yes, up. for sure. Yes. Carrie Benham and John Haynes from. Dalam. We uh, wrap up the morning show after this.